Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a new user account in Azure Active Directory. In Azure Active Directory, all user accounts are granted a set of default permissions. A user's account access consists of the type of user, their role assignments, and their ownership of individual objects. There are different types of user accounts available in Azure Active Directory. Each type has a level of access specific to the scope of work expected to be done under each type of user account. For example, administrators have the highest level of access followed by the member user accounts in the Azure Active Directory organization. Guest users have the most restricted level of access. Azure Active Directory uses permissions to help you control the access rights a user or group is granted. This is done through rules. So let's see the steps to add a new user account in Azure Active Directory. For that, we need to access and log into the Microsoft Azure portal. You can access Microsoft Azure portal using the URL https colon double slash portal.azure.com On home page, under Manage Azure Active Directory, click on View. We will be on the overview page of our Azure Active Directory tenant, which is MSFT Webcast in my case. We are using the user account with global administrator role to create a new user account. And that we can verify here. Under Manage, click on Users. On All Users tab, you will get the list of all user accounts available in your Azure Active Directory tenant. Click on New User plus icon to add a new user account. You will have two options here, Create User or Invite User. Create User will add a new user account in our organization while invite user will add a new guest user which is used to collaborate with our organization. I'll create a separate video on how to invite a user account. At this moment, we will go with default selection which is create a new user account. Under identity, provide the information about the user account which you are creating. Like username. Username is the login name which user enters to sign into Azure Active Directory. Let's enter the username. Whatever name you will provide, it will check and let you know if the username is available or not. In my case, I have entered the name Parita B. So user's login name is going to be Parita B at msftwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com. Using this username, Parita can sign into Azure Active Directory. In the name field, enter the name of the user account. Here I am giving name Parita Boda. Now enter the first name and last name of the new user. The first name is going to be Parita and the last name is going to be Boda. Leave auto generate password selected and then select show password. Write down the value that is displaying in the password box. You need to tell this initial password to that user account and you will use this initial password to sign in. At the first sign in, the Azure Active Directory enforces the users to set up the password of his or her choice. Uh, if you want, you can also set up the, your own password as well. Uh, this is just like a common password. Uh, so user will use that common password to first time sign in and then he can set up his own password. Now let me scroll a little bit. Optionally, you can add the user to one or more existing groups and that option is here. Uh, by clicking on this link, uh, you can uh, select your group and you can add this user to the existing group. Since uh, we haven't created any group in our Azure Active Directory, it is saying that no groups found. Uh, let me close it. 
Uh, you can also add the user to groups at a later time, which we will see in uh, upcoming videos. If you require Azure AD administrative permissions for the user, you can add them to an Azure AD rules. And for that, you need to click on this user link. Uh, here, you will see all the directory rules available in Microsoft Azure Active Directory. And you can select any of those rules. For example, if you want to make this uh, user as a global administrator, now that time you can select this checkbox and just simply hit on select to select global administrator rule. And after that, this user will become global administrator. And that I'm not going to do right now. So let me close it. Uh, right now, this user has a user role assigned to him. You can also add more information about the user here or you can do it later on. For example, we have a block sign in options that we will talk later on. And then you have a user's location, job information, etc. But at this moment, I'm not going to specify any other detail. I'm simply going to click on create to create this user account with the given details. Let's click on create button. We can see the confirmation message that successfully created user with the name Parita Boda. And that user account is also listed on all users tab. So we can verify that the user account is successfully created and added to our Azure Active Directory organization. If you want to modify this user account settings, you simply need to click on it. Uh, for example, let's click on Parita Boda. Now we are on a Parita Boda's profile page. To edit any information, first you need to click on this edit button. And after that, you can edit any settings related to that user account. And that we are going to see in the upcoming video. Uh, let me close it. So that concludes the video on how to add new user account in Azure Active Directory using Microsoft Azure portal. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.